Hi, good afternoon everyone, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Propel Your Prospecting and Endless Fatigue. I'm Jeanette Rumsey, Marketing Manager for Accudata, and today's webinar moderator. Before we get started, I'd like to go ahead and go through a few things with you. First and foremost, we will be taking questions throughout today's webinar, but they will be covered at the end of the presentation. Please use the Q&A panel within the GoToMeeting platform to submit your questions. If you have questions that we do not cover, you can email them to info at for a prompt reply. You may also contact your account representative at 800-732-3440. And please stay tuned for more information on ending list fatigue that will be presented at the end of today's presentation. So now I'd like to go ahead and introduce our presenters, Nate Patel, Robin Lee, and Alice Peck. Nate is our SVP of Sales and Service and has been with Accudata since 2002. Nate is responsible for all aspects of sales, business development, and customer service across our robust reseller market. Next, both Alice and Robin are account executives in Accudata's reseller channel. Alice has been with us for 20 years and Robin for 18, and they both specialize in working with printers and mailers to help them maximize profits in all types of database marketing. So Nate, at this point, I'd like to go ahead and turn things over to you. All right. Thanks, Jeanette. And uh, thanks again for everyone for joining us today. We're really excited to continue our monthly webinar series. We've gotten some excellent feedback from clients on the previous sessions. Um, as Jeanette mentioned, in this installment, we're discussing the important issue of list fatigue. Um, here's how we're going to break it up. First, today we're going to talk about uh, defining list fatigue, root causes, and influencing factors. Then we're going to discuss multi-source data as a possible solution. We'll talk through the solution at a high level first and then get into some important details and case studies. Then we're going to uh, you know, supply a checklist, and hopefully a helpful checklist, of possible multi-source opportunities for you and your clients. And at the end, we're going to wrap up with your questions and next steps. All right, so let's jump right in. Uh, we'll start talking about list fatigue. We're going to define it for you and then talk about some causes and influences. Um, what is list fatigue? Uh, list fatigue is the condition of falling ROI uh, from using the same list, uh, the same list source, or messaging. And we're probably all familiar with the definitions, uh, the first and the third definition, the same list or the same messaging. Uh, mailing the same list of names over and over again is eventually going to get stale and your ROI is going to drop. Uh, mailing the same creative for a decade is eventually going to yield lower ROI. But what about that middle section, that one about the source? Uh, most compilers, if you're not familiar, have particular sourcing strengths and weaknesses. And we've seen response, response rates decline for clients over time, even when they suppress our previous mailings. Um, if they're using that same source, it, it can happen just by tapping it over and over again. Uh, so assume at some point, as direct marketers, we've all experienced list fatigue, even if we didn't even know it at the time. The first step to bring it to an end is to understand these causes. All right, so now that we kind of have a baseline understanding for it, let's, let's talk about some signs, some things that might set off some, uh, uh, some, some signals for you. Number one uh, should be the easiest to measure, but might come at you in some subtle ways. Uh, if the mailing or emailing a particular yield for you over a period of time, and then that yield drops or the ROI goes down, that's a red flag. That would indicate list fatigue. However, what if the key measurement for your client or a key measurement was just hand raisers or opened or clicked emails or phone calls into the center, and they weren't as, uh, as diligent about recording those conversions? Well, what they might miss is the big picture uh, that list fatigue has because they're focused on one metric and not on the actual ROI. Um, number two should send up warning alarms right away. If you're getting a high degree of opt-outs from your messaging, list fatigue may be the root cause of that. And lastly, and this one doesn't happen quite as much as it used to in the direct mail world with our NCOA guidelines, but uh, in the email world, bounce backs, you know, if, you get, if, get, if you're getting bounce backs from your email sends, that can be a great indicator of list fatigue. All right, uh, so uh, we've sort of defined that. Let's, um, and now that we understand it a little bit better, let's start diving into one of the key solutions to help combat it. I'm going to turn it over to Robin Lee at this point, and we take a closer look at multi-source. 
Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. It's a pleasure to be talking with you. Uh, it's great today to be able to introduce to you a tool that can help you propel your prospecting and put an end to list fatigue. We call it Source Plus. When you use Source Plus as a part of your marketing toolkit, you do have a marketing source or a multi-source data solution that will include fresh new data in your marketing campaign. Utilizing Source Plus can increase the over, overall size of your marketing universe by an average of 20%. We've seen as many as 50 or as much as 50% and even in some cases as high as 90% uh, increase or lift over what you can do on a single source uh, mailing. Um, we also use the process to increase match rates when we're, when we're talking about data appends and you wanted to take a prospect or a, excuse me, a house list and add value to that house list, we can bump it against multiple sources to give you a higher lift. Uh, in those results. So Source Plus is our proprietary solution to end this list fatigue. When you use the same database over and over again for your marketing, you're essentially reaching the same people, the ones that uh, you've generated from the same contributing source. So Source Plus provides access to a much larger marketing universe by identifying unique records across multiple files. This will open your message to new sets of eyes, the so people that have never even heard what you were talking about before are now engaging in your um, marketing prep plan. And all of these people are still going to be meeting the demographic criteria that you set forth that is your primary audience. With Source Plus, you will have access to um, consumer data from four of the nation's leading data compilers. You're not going to need to juggle multiple partners or you're not, and you're not going to need to deal with those net name arrangements. Each um, of these additional uh, frustrations uh, just add time and expense to something that we've now simplified for you. Um, I'm going to turn back to Nate right now and he's going to explain in more detail the technology that we use behind the Source Plus waterfall process. Nate? All right. Uh, thanks. Uh, as Robin mentioned, we refer to our proprietary multi-source solution as Source Plus. Uh, there are many elements to this process that make it possible. I'm going to go through a few of them. AccuData houses four major consumer files. Typically, you're going to see a data reseller confine themselves to one source, maybe two, but as we all saw earlier in the presentation, that can really, that can really add to the list fatigue. Second, AccuData has 20 plus years of data technology experience along with teams of data scientists and developers to help us look across the four files with proficiency and speed. Uh, third, using the combination of the first two elements, we designed and perfected a waterfall process that grabs the unique records from each. So let's look at it in detail. All four of the major consumer files have unique sourcing, records, fields, layouts, algorithms, methodologies. None of them are the same. In order to create this process, we first had to apply a, an indicator that would uh, quickly allow us to pull the unique records from more than one file without ever merging the files together because that's not permitted. Our data team worked to secure buy-in from our strategic data partners, and that is, was no easy task. They're great partners of ours, but in order to offer this product and solution, we had to get the buy-in of Axiom, uh, CCL, Epsilon, and Experian, and we're thankful for that. Our developers worked for months to add technology resources to the process to create speed and efficiency, and the result is the waterfall process. It literally cascades down from file to file, picking out unique, relevant records uh, that were requested. And now Alice is actually going to give us some more detail about Source Plus, the, the, the process. Thanks, Nate. So what makes Source Plus so powerful? My clients have told me it's actually several things. It's having access to the four leading consumer databases that can be used in whatever priority you need. Another is the variety of geographical selects available. One of my favorites is the multi-radius functionality because you can feed you your locations within your account and across all the different files. And don't forget that there are hundreds of demographic selects, especially those that seem to be out of the norm, like occupation, ethnicity, interest, and even cat owners. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the results Source Plus has produced in these key consumer segments. 
This chart here is going to show you what the single source count was, the additional targets that we identified through Source Plus, and the estimated list. As you can see, there are some pretty large increases in the available universe. Just take a look at the line with families with children. This is an example of one of our clients, a national dental clinic with numerous locations. They were looking for additional records for families with children. By using all of the four consumer databases, along with the multi-radius functionality, we were able to get over a 50% list for them. Just imagine how Source Plus could help you identify additional targets for your next direct mail campaign. Now, Robin Lee is going to go through one of her case studies for you. Thanks, Alice. I can definitely provide a great example of the power of Source Plus. Um, I've got a client who's a national marketing firm, and they specialize in health services. Uh, they're using Source Plus to achieve fresh prospects for their Medicare supplement campaign. Their typical audience is going to be somebody ages 65 and older. They use a particular income and specific territory geography um, that they roll out on a rotation basis. So they're trying to reach, obviously, as many people as possible because they're all qualified with their demographics to receive their offer. So after years of using a single compiled source and still with satisfaction, I mean, they weren't unhappy. Uh, but a decline in their response rate set them to seek some additional sources. So they still mailed in full to their preferred list source, but they reached out directly to the additional compiled source vendors to be able to gain more records. But they were quickly overwhelmed um, with the time that they needed to manage these multiple partners and the cost that they had to put out for these net name, name arrangements and most importantly, the in-house merge purge processing that they had to do, and then the reporting back to the compilers that had to be done um, to be able to tell them what they they used and be billed for the correct amount. Well, AccuData Source Plus option provides them with a single point of contact and allows the marketing firm to use their preferred file plus three additional national com consumer files to gain those fresh prospects. This process increased their direct mail universe by almost double. They went from an overall geographic footprint of 655,000 records, demographically qualified, to over 1.2 million. And their goal was to reach all available um, records in their defined geography. That goal was definitely met through Source Plus. As a result, this client has successfully increased response rates in their mail universe and they have continued to use this waterfall process for the last seven years. They have not had to pay for net name arrangements, and they've only had a single contact to maintain, which saves them both time and money. And all of us can relate to that. Now, Alice does have another very interesting case to cover that shows the power of Source Plus and how it impacted her client's marketing success. Thanks, Robin. My case study is a great example of how my client was able to overcome list fatigue by using Source Plus. My client is a national hearing aid manufacturer, and they've been using a single source direct mail list as their sole source for prospect data. They continued to see their marketing universe decline, and they knew they were missing out on prospects. I introduced them to Source Plus and explained the waterfall process and how we could identify unique records across multiple consumer files, which could result in an average of a 20% list over their single source list. They loved the idea, of course. And so I ran a demographic analysis of their existing database to determine what attributes most closely match their current purchasing customers. Through the analysis, we determined that their demographics were age 55 plus, with an annual household income of 40K plus. So our next step was to run the count through their preferred direct mail file. And we were able to identify in that single source 387,000 prospect records. So we went ahead and applied the same criteria to Source Plus. And we identified an additional 321,000 records, bringing the total direct mail universe to 708,000 records an increase of more than 82%. Needless to say, they were very excited, and they now order a monthly refresh to capture any changes that occur in their prospect universe. On average, they are seeing a 50% lift over their single source list. 
So now, Robin, back to you. I know you wanted to take um, our clients through a couple more case studies. Yeah, we just highlighted the two case studies um, first that use Source Plus that were in senior marketing. But there's a lot of other uses where Source Plus can, can and make a huge impact. Um, so I would just want to go over a few of those with you. Financial seminars. Uh, we have a client that is a, he's the marketer for financial seminars, and he's been a client with us for over 10 years. He started using Source Plus about a year and a half ago. And the main driver for his transition to Source Plus was the need to achieve 15,000 prospects per mailing, but he needed those in the closest radius to the seminar location, still meeting the age, income, and financial worth that he needed uh, for those attendees. So 15,000 was that magic number to get the desired responses and fill the seats. But without using Source Plus, he was often having to radiate to a distance that was just not preferred, and he wasn't getting enough attendance. So with Source Plus, he's been able to get more records closer to the location and, and now is meeting those, that attendance need um, that he desired. So he's been extremely happy. The second case I'd like to bring up is a home builder. And this is an interesting case. Uh, they purchase a single multi-source Source Plus list one time per year. They basically look at their, their geographic area and they take as many available consumers with a selected demographic output. They output information such as uh, current homeowner status, homeowner, renter, unknown. They, they output presence of children and age, income, home market value. Anything um, that they might be able to use to tailor a mailing at a later date to a specific subset of that particular list. So they be, might be using the child data for a family-friendly community or an advanced age for a retirement community, but either way, they know that they're reaching the full potential of prospects by using the Source Plus file. And the last thing I'd like to review a swimming school. Um, and the swimming school is a great example of maximizing coverage in a limited geography. So a single compiled file only provides a portion of names available. And when it comes to children's data, all sources have pr proprietary contributors. So by accessing the four major databases through Source Plus, this swimming school was able to increase their mail universe by 29%. So is Source Plus something you should consider for some of your campaigns? Nate's going to cover that for us now. All right, we just heard so five examples right right there, the last, uh, the last few slides of Source Plus working for some of our clients, but that doesn't always answer the question, uh, when is it right for you or your client? Uh, let's take a look. Uh, we created a checklist that may help you better identify those opportunities. All right, so uh, to start you off first and foremost, you, uh, you know without a doubt that list fatigue is happening. You've identified it and you know that list fatigue is happening. Yeah, when you see a steady decline in your marketing universe after years of using the same single source, you know it's um, time to use Source Plus. This is exactly why my sharing aid manufacturer that I discussed in the earlier case study decided to go ahead and use Source Plus. Awesome. All right, so second on the list, net name arrangements are cumbersome and costly. Uh, hopping from one vendor to another can rack up charges from duplicate records, not to mention it's a tremendous time waster like Robin mentioned earlier. Uh, third, you're, you're not getting enough records from one source alone. Yeah, for those of you who may not be aware, um, I mentioned it earlier, but all compilers have propriety, proprietary sources that provide certain element data. So this means that another compiler will not have access to this source and thus may not be able to provide that level of detail to that household record. So they may know that there's a child in the home, but they don't have the contributing source that provides the birth date. So if you're using a single file, you might be missing households that they haven't been able to compile. Um, another example is that all the compilers have different uh, interests that they uh, put on their file, and they do this through survey data. Each source uh, compiles self-reported information from their own proprietary, proprietary survey. So by waterfowl more than one file, you're going to find more people that have self-reported that same interest. Uh, but through different sources. All right. Uh, next, uh, geography is an indicator that a larger audience must be reached. 
so if your client is mailing, for example, every uh, everybody in the state of Michigan, they're typically looking for every matching available record, and that just may not be possible on one file. In fact, it's, it's almost never possible on one file. Uh, fifth, the project needs a detailed custom geo assignment um, or radius pool. Some marketers need to grab records from assigned trade or franchise areas, and single sourcing will not provide needed totals within certain boundaries. So, for instance, if they were assigned to a particular agent that could only work in a certain zip code, um, they just might not find uh, the number of records they need. Uh, sixth, sometimes the project is just abnormal. Nate, a good example of this is when I was working with a local vet. Okay, actually my cat's vet. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mahati wanted to target pet owners in the area. We were just using a single source list and we just weren't coming up with enough records. So we switched her over to Source Plus and we were able to get her over a 20% list across all four sources. Not only that, but I get a free office visit for my cats next month too. <laughs> well, I've got, I do have one that, uh, that definitely fell outside the norm. Um, it was beyond anything that I had done before. But I had a customer call in once and ask me to identify all the people in the state of Ohio that had the last name of Rutherford. And um, although I thought it was strange, but they said that I, and this is what I remember, this was a couple of years ago, that it, they were trying to sell a um, restaurant. Uh, it was a restaurant that was well known and, and the restaurant's name was Rutherford. So their idea was that they wanted to promote that particular offer to everyone in that state first with the last name of Rutherford so that they would be able to possibly provide a namesake for their grandchildren or something. But um, without the multiple source uh, option, I might have missed a few uh, Rutherford. <laughs> All right. Uh, finally, when a pending date, higher match rates and results are needed. Uh, just like pulling down a prospect list, we have multiple sources available for email, pen, demographic, append, etc. Okay, so how do you get started? You want to contact your account representative with your account criteria and ask source stuff is right for you. If you are new to Accudate or just not sure who your representative is, just email us at info at Accudata.com. We will run your accounts for you, break it out by geography, and send it back to you along with the quote. When you're ready to order, just let us know. We can turn the files around in 24 hours without you having to manage multiple vendors or net name agreements. Here's Nate again. All right, so we covered a ton of content today in a short period of time. Uh, we discussed and defined list fatigue and pointed out some key warning signs. Uh, we then took a close look at our Source Plus process. Alex and Robin shared uh, real examples of how it has helped some of our existing clients. We also supplied a checklist to you that we hope is helpful in identifying Source Plus opportunities for you or your team or your clients. Um, we're going to take a couple of slides to wrap up and then get into some of your questions that we've already seen uh, they are coming in. So uh, next is, you know, why, why Accudata? Well, we've been helping our partners with direct marketing solutions and consultation for more than two decades, coming up on three decades. We, are, we all share the belief that you and your client are most effective when the, when the audience is not only highly targeted, but fresh, responsive, and complete, just as we mentioned with Source Plus. Our mission is to apply this knowledge and create solutions so you and your clients can enjoy success in marketing. Excellent. Thank you so much, Nate, Robin, and Alice. I appreciate you taking our attendees through the challenges of list fatigue and how Source Plus can be leveraged to propel their prospecting efforts. And as our thanks for attending the webinar today, each of you will not only receive a copy of our presentation, but you'll receive a resource kit that will help you fight list fatigue and propel your marketing initiatives with Source Plus. Now let's go ahead and get to your questions. We've had several that have been coming in. So Nate, Robin, and Alice, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, Nate, our first question I'm going to go ahead and send over to you. We have someone asking if they can trust their client file using Source Plus. Yeah, absolutely. That one is really easy to do on our end. Uh, you just need to supply, it, supply us that list and uh, when we run it to us when we run the counts for you. Okay, fantastic. Alice, we've got another question. Uh, are multi-source emails available as well? Yes. Um, we have the ability to waterfall the email addresses through multiple vendors so that we can deploy to the maximum universe, just like we do in the direct mail side. As a matter of fact, I just did an email append to one of my printers. 
Um, we ran it the first source. We got a 19% match rate. Ran it or waterfalled it through the next source, and we picked up an additional 6%. So gave us an overall match rate of 25% on about 117,000 consumer records. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Robin, uh, would you go ahead and take this next question? We have someone that's asking if they have to use all of the files that we listed. For source plus, no. You do not need to use all of the files listed. So source plus, the opportunity is to get as many records as a, that are available. You don't necessarily have to do that. Let's say that you were missing 3,000 records uh, that you wanted to be able to fulfill to meet a client's need for a 15,000 piece mailer, uh, but you didn't want to go any further away or add more geography, uh, it would be a perfect solution where you might just need to go into one additional file for Source Plus uh, versus using the, you know, all of them. So you're trying to fulfill to a certain number, you can use one, two, three, four. So uh, the answer is no, you don't have to use all of the files to utilize that process. Okay, fantastic, thank you. Nate, I'm going to go ahead and give you this next question. How does this approach differ when it's a B2B list versus a B2C list? All right, that's a great question. So I would say the, really the only difference would be uh, that it's not quite as automated as the B2C solution that we outlined in the, in the slides today. So we have great relationships with multiple B2B uh, providers just like we do on the B2C side. And if for the right campaign and when it's needed, we can certainly multi-source that as well. Okay, fantastic. So Alice, I'm going to combine two quick questions for you that have just come in. Uh, the first, uh, one of our audience members would like to know if Source Plus is available on Acculeads, and if not, how long would it take for them to get their count? Um, currently, it's not available on Acculeads. All you need to do is email your account representative with your geography and demographic selections. We can turn that count around within 24 hours, you know, as long as we you know, have it in the same day, we'll get it back to you within the same day. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Robin, I'm going to go ahead and give this next question to you. Can you go through some of the ways that our users can prevent list fatigue if they've identified a potential issue with a mailing campaign? Are we talking about other than Source Plus, probably? Yeah, well, maybe in addition to Source Plus. Okay, yeah, yeah. so list fatigue. Um, there's a lot of different things can go into list fatigue. So first, you might want to consider updating or changing out the demographics on your list. Um, are you still mailing to the correct audience? Has that audience possibly changed? So there's, there's a lot of options out there. There's a lot of um, highly specialized and targeted files that we've got access to that you might want to consider. Uh, we also have profiling capabilities. Um, we can use that to get a picture of what your current customers do look like. Uh, another thing you might want to consider is uh, maybe taking a look at the content of your piece and making see if it needs to be you know altered or revitalized. Is it still relevant to the audience that you're going after? Um, do you have an eye-catching design? Things like that could make a big difference. I mean, you've got to move with the times, obviously. So basically, are you providing multiple ways for your customer to find you in your email? You know, are you including an email address, a web address? So there's a whole bunch of different factors that can be involved in getting and fighting list fatigue. Uh, that's what your AccuData representative is for. I mean, we're, we're more than happy to sit down, discuss, look at content, uh, and talk about the campaign to see whether we can add some value and uh, help you, you know, create that customer and make that customer more happy um, or happier for, with the mailing success. So, yeah, that's my answer. That's a great answer. Thank okay. you. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing lots of questions coming in on cost, and I just wanted to sort of make a blanket statement for you that um, because costs differ between end users and resellers, between the size of the mailing campaign and um, how, how, how complex the counts might be, uh, all of those might be factors. The best the best way to, to go about understanding the, the pricing for your particular campaign is just to reach out to your rep and then, of course, just follow the instructions for if you don't have a rep assigned to you. And we can get you in touch with someone who will quote you and that project out, you know, precisely. Excellent. Thank you so much. We're going to take a, a few more questions. If you all have those, please go ahead and submit those now. And, okay, it doesn't look like we have anything coming in at the moment. 
So let's go ahead and wrap up today. Uh, but again, if you did have any last minute questions, please make sure that you go ahead and send those in to either your account representative or please feel free to email info at acudata.com and we will be more than happy to help answer any questions that you may have about ending list fatigue with Source Plus or if there are any of our other products or services, we would be happy to address those questions as well. I thank you very much for attending today's webinar and I hope you have a great afternoon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.